Warning, the show may contain some crude humor and mild swearing. Listener discretion is advised. This show is produced by Geek Happy Network, constantly curious about the things we love. If you enjoyed listening to Smorgasbord, remember to subscribe to the show on Spotify, YouTube, or on your favorite podcast app. Remember to leave a review. We would love to hear your thoughts. This This is Smorgasbord! Welcome to Smorgasbord, a show where we explore the rituals, myths, and all things strange about the world of food. I'm Mick, and here is my co-host... One shirt angel, apparently. <laughs> I swear I have more shirts, just not when I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've I've just decided to pick the shirt that I find closest, which is usually the last recording shirt. Yep. But same. anyway, today we have a special guest. Would you want to introduce yourself? Ciao. Hello, everyone. I'm Alberto. Um, I'm Italian. I'm... No shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I could be Mexican. What do you know? No, the way you said Alberto, it's oh. super Italian. Fair enough. Well, yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, Alberto, tell he, us a little bit about yourself. Oh, yeah, you're a cook. I try, yeah. Uh, it's a big passion of mine. And especially in these dire times of crisis where I have nothing else to do. So I like to just perfect my skills. Uh, in real life, I'm a production sound mixer, so I work in the film uh, or TV industry. But right now, I'm unemployed, so yay! <laughs> yay! Thanks, COVID! Unemployment! <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks, COVID, Chan! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, everyone, you should go see Alberto's Instagram. He posts a lot of his food food oh, yeah. things. What is your handle? Um, Alberto Congo. Oh, we're going to link it here. Okay, this is not YouTube, so that doesn't work, but... Well, it is we'll going to be YouTube. It. <laughs> we'll oh, link yeah. it. Well, so, yeah, it's going to be here somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> somewhere here. It will put somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think Alberto, out of the three of us, is the only one who can actually make food. Yeah. Good. I'm pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty good. <laughs> The rest of us just follow <laughs> online recipes and hope to God. Sometimes we don't even out. follow recipes. I look at the recipe briefly and I'm like, all right, I can take it from here. <laughs> it's just like memorizing same, lines. Yeah, yeah anyway, so the, we, we brought Alberto in because we were going to do a video episode and we wanted to cook the desserts that we covered in our three-part series about the Eids. And we figured we'd get someone who can cook properly, so in case Angel and I screw up these desserts, someone will get it right. Which we (laughs) definitely will. (laughs) I might do, so I haven't looked at them, but, you know, they kind of look tricky from the list, but, so, we'll see. Good challenge. (laughs) Yeah, so we have a list of a bunch of the Eid desserts that we talked about people would cook during Eid Al Fitter, and we figured we'll each pick one and give it a shot right <laughs> hopefully you could find all the ingredients <laughs> all right who, who well, wants the to... thousand layers uh, is interesting that for sure yeah it's legit <laughs> it's literally called legit <clears throat> lapis legit i just i don't know if i have that much time i mean i have all day <laughs> <laughs> okay, something I hate, I don't know about you guys, but something I hate about recipe web- websites is that they just... Tell you a whole story about their grandpa? Yeah, yeah. who cares? <laughs> I don't care. I just give, just give me the fucking ingredients. It's like, this Why tastes like my childhood. Hours? It tastes yeah. like when my give dad the rec- abandoned my family yeah. and my mom bakes cakes. To mask I mean, her I get despair. it. Thank you, Karen. It's really interesting, but no, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Just write a book, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. it's true. Right. I don't give a fuck. Just give me the list. Okay, yeah, that's sure. little. Yeah, I guess Alberto, since you are the guest, do you do you want to pick first? Uh, if you guys already have an idea on what to do, just just go for it. I wanted to do the Sita. The Sita. <laughs> It's in. It's a boiled boob. A boiled boob. <laughs> wow! Thanks for the nightmare. Oh, that one looks good. Yeah. I like that. On the recipe card, it says one butter. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just a general butter. 
<laughs> one butter. One stick, like <laughs> a brick of butter. The the Sevilla one looks pretty hard, or the lapis legit, I think, looks pretty hard too. I think legit is just time consuming because you have to yeah. do layer by layer by layer. And I know I'm gonna get to the second layer and be like, why isn't this a cake yet? I don't, I don't want this anymore. I'm just gonna pour everything in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was thinking of doing the double kamitha or the shai tukta thing. Looks okay, like well, really fun bread pudding. Okay, yeah, you you can do this one. You do the boob. I'll do the boob, <laughs> yay! I'll do... I don't mind the sheer korma. I'm just looking at it. Do you want to do that one? No. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm doing the boob, so whatever. Yeah, if you two can find the hardest one, I'll try to do that, since uh, allegedly I'm the better cook here. <laughs> I mean, so you are. <laughs> that's why, uh, give me a challenge. Let's try and see. Ooh. Nice why don't impression. we just give him the, the lapis legit then? And <laughs> All right, yeah, you're going to yeah. make that thousand layer cake. And I expect it to be exactly one thousand <laughs> layers. Okay, I'm gonna make, make the boob. Yeah. You make the boob. I'll make I'll make the rose water thing. Kuluf Kulfi Faluda. Kulfi Faluda. Alright. Okay. Don't start us ever again. Ever. <laughs> ever. We're gonna say it again when we the boob? recap. Kaboob? The kaboob. Uh, <laughs> kaboob. <laughs> that that way I we'll like have a, a like cake, that. a pudding and a drink. Yeah, I have a feeling one of us is going to make something edible. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, that's Who three knows? chances. What can go wrong? It could be we me. Three okay. chances. <laughs> okay. So what is it we're going to do? Angel's going to do the acida. Mm -hmm. Alberto's going to do the lapis legit. And yep. I'll do the kulfi faluda. Yeah. All right. You just said it again. <laughs> I said He's it gonna again. kill you. I'm dead. <laughs> YOLO. YOLO. All we got Why is time. Not? All we got is time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We will regroup sometime later. Well, okay. Don't forget to take lots Subscribe of Subscribe and uh, comment and. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that bell! <laughs> Hit that bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Ciao, tutti. Hey, everyone. I'm about to start making the Lapis Legit cake and I have the ingredients here eggs, butter I could, I don't have the uh, square shape uh, cake thingy I don't know the English word so I'm gonna use a cheesecake round one traditionally it should be squared but it is what it is and flour Coconut cream, because maybe I want to try and do some of the layers uh, as a coconut mousse. I don't know. Well, I'm going to be making Kulfi Faluda, which I found out just while now that I have to make ice cream for it, because Kulfi is ice cream. <laughs> I think I'm going to start making the ice cream first and then figure out how to do the rest of them. You just need to prepare three different mixes and then in the end, whisk them all together. Place them in the uh, in the uh, pan, cooking pan. This thing I don't know the name, and then just wait and make layer by layer by layer. Hi everybody, we're gonna be making a cedar today, which is like a punched. Okay, I don't think you're supposed to punch it, but I'm gonna be punching it. It's gonna be pudding. Um, I put on my pants. So let's get cooking. I had to do some conversions first because everything is in grams and I just, I don't do that. We do it in cups here, guys, see? I have flour, salt, butter, and honey. So to make the ice cream, I need a bunch of different kinds of milk. We have half an F cream, whipping cream, condensed milk, and then we're gonna flavor it up with some rose water, which I know in the photos was red. So, maybe I'll get some grenadine, hold on. Okay, and grenadine. So I'm supposed to mix all of these together into a blender and then see where it goes from there. So when I first looked up the recipe, it said one butter. So I have one whole butter here. One whole Canadian butter. 
Uh, first step is to measure the butter. The recipe calls for 300 grams. You need these to be room temperature. This is quite solid. I'm not sure how to... Am I supposed to melt it and then... I don't want to like melt extra butter. I don't know how to do this. How about I just scoop it? I'm gonna just cut it into chunks so it's not a whole block like uh, the one that Angel is gonna use since her dessert calls for one butter. One butter achieved. So knowing her, she is probably just gonna stick an entire block of butter. Add one water, add one butter, half a t TSP, half tsp, right here. Focus. Half to sp. Uh, 120 grams of condensed milk. I guess I can start. Oh, and rum. Two cups of half and half. This might be easier if I just take the lid off. One cup. Two cups. One cup of whipping cream. Uh, about a cup of condensed milk, which is the best because it's super sweet. Just gonna... mm. I'm trying to look there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll... I'm gonna go finish this first. I'm gonna use Malibu, which is coconut. Whoop! That's way too much. One drink for puppy. Mmm. Very good. Put this on, and it says medium speed for eight minutes. Quarter cup of pistachios. Okay, I'm assuming it's a quarter cup of the nuts, and I don't put the shells in. So, I'm gonna measure it. Probably should have got the ones without shells. <laughs> Did not screw anything up. Oh, I hope Angel and Alberto are having better luck <laughs> than I am. Water is boiling, and I got my coffee. Okay, I guess I can measure out the next step, which is flour. After conversion, it's one and a quarter cups. Uh, I'm using all-purpose flour. I don't know if there's... It just says flour. And then I need a quarter... That's fine. It's just a little too much. I added the 90 grams of flour, pinch of salt, and maybe too much of the spec cook seasoning. Mix together again at some speed. Batter A is done. It was a pretty good mix. It's pretty chunky, pretty full. I'm gonna do the batter two, the one with the yolks. So it calls for 12 yolks. Okay, eggs. Now I'm gonna put the sugar, put it here again, whisk, make another bowl, and then uh, we'll check later. It's heating, it's heated. Sift flour into this pot. Surprisingly, I have one. There's one cup, there's the other. Am I supposed to sift this before? Stir, it just says stir. All oh, right, we're stirring. It looks kind of gross. Probably should have started a lot earlier instead of two in the morning. See, I thought this was the easiest of all of them, which I think it is. Probably should have just bought unshelled pistachios and it would have been super easy to do this. Oh, Bianca, if you're editing this, I'm so sorry. I should, probably should have cut at this point. So here's a part where I'm supposed to make the dough more compliant. And I can already tell it's kind of dry. This is not what it looked like on the video I was watching. It's like... Yeah, so this part, when I was watching the tutorial, is actually quite slimy. And you're supposed to work with the dough until it's smooth. There's not a lot of moisture. Maybe I should add some water. What if I 
add like a tisp of water. Is that okay? These are the 12 yolks, sugar. I'm gonna measure the sugar and then I'm gonna put everything here and whisk all together. So I'm gonna transfer this to another bowl and then I'm gonna do the final batter, batter C. I'm about to make C with the egg whites, 55 grams of sugar, half teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever this is, of uh, cream of tartaro, which is cream of tartar. And then I'm gonna whisk all together, make a good foam, and then in the end mix all three batters together. Moisturize me. Yeah, a wooden spoon would have, would have been really good. Okay, so it says stir till smooth. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, Alright, well, the next step is to add more water, which I like the sound of, and then put it back on the stove to boil. Okay, so I think that's about a quarter cup. So just a quarter cup of pistachios in there, half a teaspoon of rose syrup. So I realized I don't want to make the ice cream white, so maybe I don't need the grenadine. Oh. <laughs> it smells like roses, I guess. I put four slices of bread. I don't know why I need bread for ice cream. That would be such a weird recipe to have bread in your ice cream, but I guess it's to make it have texture. We'll see. All right, I shove that all in there. Then I blend it. Okay, so we made everything. Butter A, B, and C. And now I'm gonna have to mix B into A, then one third of this into everything. And when that is all mixed together, I'm gonna put the rest of C in this big bowl here. And then I'm gonna start layering in the cake. It says leave it on the stove for 15 minutes. All right, <laughs> this sounds so gross. I'm gonna put it now in a container and freeze it. Uh, hopefully that makes ice cream. All right, so that's the mix. I'm just gonna go freeze that and go to the next part. Batter A is in. Now I'm gonna put batter B. Let's start mix B into A. Some force to do this, some power into it, but we can do it. Okay, I'm taking it off the heat to stir more. This looks nothing like any of the videos <laughs> that I watched. On the videos they look a little bit more like sculpty or like modeling clay, but this is just another life form on its own. I'm supposed to drizzle a little bit of butter, one butter. I'm gonna plop this little chonker. Oh my god. <laughs> Struggle and a half. This is very sticky. And I'm supposed to start shaping it into like a dome type, dome type shape. I'm not sure if this is how it is supposed to be, but it smells good, taste is really good, consistency looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna spray the nonstick thing, the cake, and then I'm gonna start with the first layer. Okay, so while cleaning up, I realized that I have to wait 24 hours for the ice cream to freeze. So, I didn't think of that. I guess I do this tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna go drink now, I guess. Yeah. First layer is in. Now, uh, the recipe says to do this to eliminate all the bubbles inside. You can see it. First layer. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven and see what happens. I let this sit for about five minutes so it's not so hot because these tender fingers can't handle 
hot things. It's still hot. Okay, so I'm supposed to be folding this. Oh my god, this is... How do people do this? Yeah, I'm supposed to be like folding it and folding until it's smooth. I don't think this thing is ever gonna... Ah, it's hot! It's hot! <laughs> wow! This is burning in a bad way. Yeah, okay, so the lady in the video just straight up was chilling, folding this dough. I don't know how she's doing it because this actually hurts. Okay, I'm gonna wait another five minutes and come back. Okay, so the first layer needs um, eight minutes to cook. So while you wait, reward yourself with another shot. Cheers. Hi there, my name is Kanyeki Kamawe and I'm the host of the Represented Podcast. No matter who you are and no matter where you come from, we each have a story to tell. The Represented Podcast explores individuals' life stories with the hope that we can identify with or learn from them. Subscribe and listen to the show on YouTube, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, or even Spotify. You can also check us out on the Geek Happy Network website. That's geekhappynetwork.com. Finally, follow the show on Instagram at Represented Podcast to keep up with the fun stuff. Love to see you there. Peace. Okay, a uh, little spoon to the rescue. Fold the dough in until it turns into like a smooth boob looking thing. This is half the recipe. That seems hard to believe because because <laughs> I watched her make the entire thing. The cooking lady. And this is about how much she had. And that was with like a full recipe. Is this even looking anything? Is this looking better? Can we do a time lapse of this? You know, just speed it up in editing. Okay, so the ice cream's done. It turned out to be really good, so I'm kind of happy about that. Now I'm gonna do the rest of it, which means I gotta boil the water, which I probably should have started boiling earlier. Um, but I guess while waiting, we could make the seeds that come into the Kofi Faluda as well. Because I couldn't find any basil seeds, uh, I'm gonna use some chia seeds. I think it should be fine. Uh, we'll see when we get there, right? <laughs> So for this, we just want to put the chia seeds in water, let the seeds soak the water up a little bit, and then it should be fine after that. So this is going to soak for a couple hours. Meanwhile, I'm going to go make the rice noodles that could go with it too. This one I used some rice vermicelli. It's uh, brown rice, and that's the only one I could find in the store. I think I just boil it in this. Now, it also called for rose syrup, and I think we talked about my rose syrup isn't red, so I'm going to go mix it with some grenadine non-alcoholic sugar sorts. So it's just gonna kind of look like this, I guess. It's like blood <laughs> with color. I'm gonna mix that up a little bit and it should be fine. All right, we got the chia seeds ready. We got the rose syrup ready. We're gonna add some fruit to it as well. So I got some dried blueberries and dried cherries. We're gonna just add it to these little cups here. All right, and we're gonna wait again for the hot water this time. Okay, first layer is done. So now I'm gonna do all the layers, broil them, and then in the end uh, we'll see what happens. So, yay. Hi, little man. There's nothing good about this. I don't really, really want to eat it. It looks really gross. Like, would you eat this? Would you eat this? What does this look like to you? It looks like a mutant alien blob. Okay, so it's kind of working, it seems. Now I wanna try and make the coconut cream layer and I'll let you know if it works out and if not, well, poop. Vermicelli, I was told not to cook it in boiling water, so you turn the water on and then put this in. I hope it works. I just let it sit for a few minutes. So once it's soft, I take it off the water and it should be done. 
pretty soft already, so I think it should be fine. Looks pretty ready. I'm gonna run it in hot water and then we're good to go. Right, so since I do have to wait two hours for the chia seeds to be ready, I'm gonna go do stuff. Okay, what if I just... Okay, now we're having fun. I figured it out. I figured out the fun. It's punishing this dough for existing. Okay, lumpy. Lumpy McLump. Um, supposed to make an indent in the middle. I need to wash my hands. Okay. It's done. Let's check. All right, so everything is finally ready after waiting for quite a while. We have our ice cream, we have our vermicelli, we have our chia seeds, we have our rose syrup, we got our serving stuff with the fruits in it and everything. I think we're ready to make some kulfi faluda. So I think just to make it, it's kind of you just throw everything into the glass and then eat it. So we're going to do exactly that. Let's start with, oh my god, this is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, now the best part, you put more A butter. It's supposed to put some honey on it, but for some reason the honey I have is like chunky. <laughs> Throw that in there. Get, get in there. Well, the idea is to drizzle the honey around, but there's no drizzling when it comes to this bad boy. Mm. Tada! Yay, I guess. Uh, it's cooled down. I'm gonna try and open it, um, cut it, and see if the cross section works. Ooh, it's open though. Okay, one sec. Or maybe just keep it out of the freezer for a little bit longer. workout and a half but it's gonna be worth it now we got the kulfi in there got the fruits the ice cream gonna add some chia seeds in there as you can see it's a little bit soggy and then I'm gonna put some of the vermicelli oh I don't know maybe that much toss it all in there last but not least we got the rose syrup I think we just Drizzle over. Ooh. Just like that. There you go. The Kulfi Faluda, I think. Mm. Oh, yes. Woohoo! Layers. Look at this. Okay, so here is the thing, my acida in its very sad glory. <laughs> Looks like I murdered Olaf and then drizzled butter all over his dead body. <laughs> um, let's do a taste test. Take apart, okay, just small bite, small bite. What does it taste like? Mm. That is pretty tasty. You can really taste the rose syrup. There's a little bit of the pistachios that kind of work really well together. I haven't really tasted the chia seeds yet. Let me have another bite and see where that comes from. I hate this. I'm pretty sure if I had made this correctly, it would not be so gross. But it's like chunky in a bad way. <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna say this is a win. Maybe not worth all that waiting. I probably could have been more efficient about how I did all the food, but it's good. But the texture is just awful. Like I don't, I really want someone to make this also and let me know what it's supposed to be like. Cause I don't think this is right. I don't know. 
Well, I made a thing. Yay. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this ice cream. I guess I'm gonna eat it over the next two weeks. <laughs> or I could share it with my family. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Bye. So how did everybody's desserts go? <laughs> Alberto. Mm -hmm. Well, I show you the pictures and uh, apart from the <laughs> insanely long process uh, it went really really good actually at the it end uh, really good. at the end the, delicious. yeah the taste was uh incredible oh wow i think cool. I, I think i can uh, charge it a little bit like make it a little more powerful in taste right uh maybe adjusting the spices or putting more uh, coconut or some chocolate here and there right. but from the traditional recipe uh it was amazing it's oh, just a really you? really long process yeah how many did layers did you find the wait did you find the spices i um, made them i made them myself because oh. i just looked oh. up um the kind of mix it is so it was uh cinnamon uh clove uh, nutmeg uh, and uh, cardamom i think oh cool i nice. think i did it correct i don't know the proper dosage but it tastes good so as nice. long as it tastes good yeah mm -hmm. yeah and to be honest the process is, is actually fairly easy to do is at least if you have a uh, i don't know the english name uh, the machine that makes uh, the dough it, Let's right. call it mixer, I guess. Right. If you have that, it's way easier. Uh, it's Do just you have long. A, you have a you have one of those. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you're yeah, like, of there. course I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. How many layers did you end up with? I didn't really count. I should get one of the pictures and count. I think it was thirty. Oh, wow. you got thirty layers. Cool. I think so. I was gonna say like oh, twelve. <laughs> uh, I hope it was at least more than 20 because it right. took me in total four to five hours to do everything Holy mainly because God. I had to take the videos and everything I think that if I didn't have to take the videos I could have done it in two and a half three hours okay. maybe yeah but mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah. fun it's a fun recipe to do it's just you just have nothing else to do which yeah, no, fair I enough. Don't, <laughs> hey, quarantine. Hey. Perfect time to make one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How did yours turn out, Angel? It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't even know where I went wrong. Probably cuz I tried to make half of what the recipe said like it seemed like a lot. They're like serves 4 to 6. Right. And I didn't want that much dough cuz I know that I don't like it. <laughs> I'm probably yeah. not going to eat six servings of, like, a dough dessert. So I'm like, right. okay, I'll just cut it in half. But then it got really, really dry. Yeah. When I was mixing it, like, I watched several videos and, like, the consistency just was not correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw your videos on the drive and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> it was so powdery. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was, <laughs> but, like, the end result, it was... Okay, for how dry it was in the middle mm. stage, it got, like, too sticky at the end. Right. Mm. So I don't really know what happened. I know, like, the whole folding mechanic changes mm. the chemistry, too, so maybe I yeah. wasn't doing that correctly. Right. Okay. But at some point... And I didn't even have a wooden spoon. That's another... <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> hey, oh, well. you, you leave and learn. <laughs> at least learn. now you have yes, a garden I learned that. dishwasher. I, I learned that I no longer have a wooden spoon. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I, it, everything went wrong. Nice. <laughs> nice. I feel like I just fell somewhere in the middle where I didn't know I had to make ice cream for this. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> Did there you not There's so read? many different kinds of milk. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I think this is how it works. <laughs> 
And then the rose syrup took a while to get here, so it was just a lot of did waiting. Did you order it on Amazon? I did. I couldn't uh. find it anywhere, so I ended up using it. I'll, I'll Amazon some ice cream dancers <laughs> next time. <laughs> so I forgot. You're gonna get some real different things. Yeah. Well, yeah. you don't really need an ice cream maker to make no. ice cream. I mean, I made four different kind of gelatos ice cream in the yeah. past two weeks, uh, and I don't have an ice cream maker. It's just so. a lot of mixing, yeah. It's gonna take way more time right. like this. But in that the end, sounds like absolute hell. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know, because I just put it in the freezer. It takes, <laughs> it takes one minute to mix it when it's No, up, it's more it's like over. the you have to ex be expected to be at this place, which is your in front of your freezer <laughs> every okay. four hours or every two hours. I don't know. Yeah, I just left That's too it much of a commitment. <laughs> and let it freeze. <laughs> The alcohol definitely didn't help with remembering. How did you that, survive so. until now, Angel? Ow! <laughs> There's also coffee, which is more important. <laughs> you know, I, I realize I've been getting so much headaches every day, and I. Is it because you're not eating? It's because I'm not drinking coffee. I had my first cup of coffee yesterday in like a month. Wait, the headaches are supposed to go away after, like, your body like readjusts to no caffeine. I don't know. No. I think I think I'm in. I think this is a different problem than lack of coffee. <laughs> Psychological <laughs> scarring is what it is. <laughs> Just pain and agony. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm on the all croissant diet now because Jamie gave me a bag of croissants. Oh, from, nice. From Costco. She also gave me. Um, she's like, "Hey, are you an oatmeal fan?" I'm like, <laughs> "Not particularly." She's like, I'm going to give you some Here. oatmeal. Here it's uh, it's 2.5 kilos of oatmeal. Oh my goodness. I don't fucking know how to, I know could, what to do, do you, with this. Do you want my oatmeal cookie recipe? Sure. It's See, the problem ridiculous. with making anything is I don't have anyone to feed it to right now. But like, cookies aren't <laughs> like I... wooden spoons. After a month, you could still kind of eat it. <laughs> 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 Ouch! That sounds awful. I don't want to eat like twenty-four cookies. That's too many. Give and, it to, and, your, uh, to your neighbors. Yeah. Make your new friends. Cat Ugh. or Mister Mime, <laughs> or just give it back to Jamie. Be like, here, <laughs> stupid to, oatmeal. To react like that, I knew it. <laughs> friends. <Ugh. laughs> What is that? People. What is that? Oh, disgusting. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I've never been so happy <laughs> as when quarantine started and I don't have to see anybody. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the lesson of uh, this dessert episode is cooking It's too is much cooking for Angel. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much experience you have, cooking is traumatizing. Yes. I mean, we saw photos of Alberto. Yep. Having an existential crisis. Yep. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I love cooking. I have a lot of passion for that. But at one point in the five-hour process, I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> why? Doing I it for us. These, the I most important. I huge bowl of mixer of, the, of all the different butters mixed up. And I was like, why? <laughs> I'm a drama queen. So basically... The picture I made is because I'm a drama queen. <laughs> yeah, we're... Angel knows. Angel knows. I'm, I'm a drama queen, to be honest. It's I'm all right. just a, a showman. So <laughs> I I was feeling a little um, overwhelmed with everything. I was like, uh... Yeah. But, uh, and this time I learned that that cake is great and I'll never do it again. Unless awesome. someone pays me a lot of money. <laughs> and I have Which nothing else to do totally that doing. day. Would you want to come to another cooking video with us? Of course, if next, you next challenge, if you want to have me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna show off again, but <laughs> I feel like no. I feel like at this point we need content that's not like absolute disaster because that's <laughs> that's what you come to expect from yeah. from me. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's gonna like be like uh, angels those, disasters uh, and Mick getting drunk. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> we need someone who's actually like, competent. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be like those uh, cooking challenges where you have a home cook, uh, uh, a home chef, and then a professional chef, and you have the uh, 
hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, it could like, probably, yeah. It's like best case scenario, worst case scenario, <laughs> drunk scenario. And then yeah. drunk me. <laughs> well, that there you have it. That's the uh, eat dessert episode. We do apologize that some of us ended up having to drink making these desserts. <laughs> I did. Some of us. They're not oh, the most halal thing to do. <laughs> oh, I was... Um, I actually didn't drink. Wow. But it, it, it's a good reminder of how difficult some of these desserts are. It really is. It really is. For those who have, <laughs> if anyone has other desserts they want to try, you could check out our descriptions. I think there are some links there for what desserts we used and made and some other, um, some other desserts you could try as well. But for now, that's what we have. I think next episode we're doing carbonated drinks with another special guest so tune in next time at smorgasbord smorgasbord bye yeah bye. Bye. This, this is smorgasbord, smorgasbord. Have a ritual, myth, or something strange you want us to explore? Send us a message through Facebook at Geek Happy Network or email us at team at geekhappynetwork.com. We'd love to hear from our fellow smorgies. This show was created by Angel Lynn and Mick Narciso. Hosted by Angel Lynn and Mick Narciso. Edited by Mick Narciso and Bianca Goico. Logo and graphics by Angel Lynn. Music by Mick Narciso. And videography by Bianca Goico. <laughs>